EA Sports. It's in the game. There's a couple more things I want to touch on in NCAA 09. If you're like me, in the past, you only called timeouts to stop the clock. That is not the case in NCAA 09. Calling timeout really gives you a lot more than just stopping the clock. Interactive timeouts. If you call timeout in NCAA 09, a screen pops up with options. Offense and defense. Block better, break more tackles, get open. On defense, you have a one-to-one -one relationship to counter any of those. Interactive timeouts gives you options that are very powerful. You receive huge boosts in the area of your choice just for the duration of that drive. And these are very powerful effects. A great way to uh, get some things going on offense or defense. Interactive timeouts. Another thing timeouts are great for in NC09, if I'm playing a guy who's kicking a game-winning field goal, I'm icing the kicker. When he lines up, call timeout. When he comes back on the field to kick the field goal again, there's heartbeat audio, the controller's vibrating through the heartbeat audio. The camera's lowered down in the field behind the kicker, looking almost at the pylon, so the arrow's kind of screwed up. You can't really see where you're supposed to aim it. The meter's iced over in blue. And on top of that, if they can't see through the iced meter, and they leave it short, you can return the missed field goal this year. So timeouts, more powerful than ever. In the past, like I said, I only used them to stop the clock. This year, timeouts helped me win games.